welcome, this is your five minute geography lesson. We're covering theme one, element 10, coastal geology. Please distribute the handouts. I'm Mr. S and I'll be your five minute teacher. The geology of the coastal area can affect the types of landforms which develop there. And there are two major geological structures of coastline that we're gonna look at today, concordant and discordant. So let's find out what those two words actually mean. Well, a concordant coastline is where we have bands of hard and soft rock that run at parallels to the coast. And a discordant coastline is the opposite, so we have rocks that run perpendicular to the coast. Now don't worry, we're gonna have a look at these in a bit more detail with some diagrams to actually explain what that means. But before we move on to them, let's have a look at what we mean by hard and soft rock. In the UK, we've got softer rocks which are more sandy and clear, and they erode more quickly. And that's because they are structurally more loose so when, in terms of sedimentary rock, they've got layers and layers and layers built on top of each other, they're not densely packed. So it's easier for water and the force of that water to break that material apart. Or in the example of clay, it's a wet material, so it's more susceptible to things like weathering and undercutting, which means that the entire side of the cliff might slide away in mass movement. Whereas harder rocks, they're more resistant, and in the UK, examples of these are chalk and limestone. And there you've got a stronger structure, they're more densely packed together in terms of sedimentary, less air gaps, less chance to break through, and that material is tightly bonded. There are even stronger rocks, things like granite, which is incredibly strong, um, igneous rock, and it's got a crystal lattice-like structure, which is incredibly hard to break. But Talking about the types of rock, these are all relative, uh, relative. Things like chalk and limestone, in the grand scheme of things, we'd actually say are, are pretty soft rocks. But compared to the clays and the sands, they're a lot harder. And we don't tend to see many UK coasts that have the incredibly hard rocks like granite at coastlines. Most of them tend to be sand, uh, limestone or chalk. So let's have a look at what these two coastlines actually look like. And we're starting off with our concordant coastline. So we said that concordant is when we have parallel bands of hard and soft rock at the coast. So you can see here, there's our coast, the sea, and it runs parallel with those bands of rock. So in the example here, we've got a huge band of hard rock. So that's really resistant to any erosion that the sea is gonna hit at it, which means that it's not gonna erode very quickly. Where it has managed to get through, there might've been a joint as a weakness, or an imperfection in the geology, which means that water's managed to get through, but it hasn't made a huge gap in the coastline. When it's moved through the harder rock, it's getting to the softer rock, which is much easier to erode. So this gap behind the hard rock then becomes wider. So if you look at our actual example here, here's our hard rock. It's made a small opening in the coastline, but it's not huge. So it's a very small gap leading in, and it creates this big, cove behind it that's been eroded in the softer rock. So this looks very similar to a landscape that we're about to see, but the defining point is that this is a very small opening, it's protected on nearly all four sides, which encloses this area, which we call a cove. In contrast, the discordant coastlines, we have bands of rock running perpendicular, so by that we mean at right angles to the sea. So you can see here that we've got a hard rock and soft rock both exposed at equal distribution to the sea. Which means that the, although the harder rock doesn't erode as quickly, the softer rock does. And it creates this undulating pattern of land that sticks out into the sea and land that's been eroded in by the sea. So the land that sticks out is called a headland. That's the more resistant rock, the harder rock. It's harder for the sea to actually erode away. And then the bay is the softer rock that's been eroded away. So this is the type of place that you'd probably go to the seaside and sit on the coast, on the beach, and then you can see bits of rock jutting out on either side, on the left and the right of you. So you can't see the other headland on here, it's just off screen, but that is different to a cove because it's more exposed on this side leading out to sea. You can see that it's got a very wide open entrance to the beer. Well, that brings our lesson to an end, 
but continue at your own pace by completing the now try tasks for homework, class dismissed.